Wherever you place the incision, it causes some flattening of the cornea along that meridian. How much flattening is directly related to the width of the incision and inversely related to its distance from the centre of the cornea. Consequently, the width of a clear corneal incision can only go up to about 3 mm plus or minus 10% without inducing significant astigmatism. Surgically induced astigmatism may of course be deliberately exploited to flatten the steep meridian with an on-axis incision, but what we're trying to avoid in all cases is unintentional induced astigmatism. There are really only two principal reasons why this happens, and two less common reasons. The first is that a clear corneal incision is made too centrally. This particular corneal incision induced a cylinder of just over 2.5 diopters and required corrective refractive surgery afterwards. The second reason is that the incision is made too wide when it's enlarged to accommodate the lens implant or the injector. 